Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Starfield and this really interesting little planet. So I finally found a planet where we could get ourselves some beryllium. It's actually, it's actually pretty great here. It's beryllium and uh, aluminium and europium, which we've never seen before. I don't, oh, we've maybe seen before, but never had. Uh, but I've just set it up to harvest beryllium for now. But I just thought it was a really interesting planet that I want to showcase because we've got these, these flying critters. As you can see, these herding brain blimp filterers. These flying... I don't know, they're bizarre. They're really cool. I just wanted to, to show you them, basically. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Try to hop into photo mode and see what they look like. How close can I get? Not much closer than this, I don't think. But yeah, what an interesting... And also a huge building over there in the distance. But that's not really anything. But uh, yeah. This is a really cool planet, actually. I really like this place. It's not, it's not permanent outpost standard but it's it's interesting and i want to showcase it so i've got myself a little bit of um beryllium these are probably all i was gonna say these are all empty but they're not but that's now chugging away unfortunately couldn't find any in the same system as the titanium but it is a neighboring system it's nearby so that is enough for me drop all that off we should have a little bit of that now and you know every now and again we'll come by we'll pick up titanium we'll pick up beryllium and uh, we'll use that to do some crafting. Isn't that, doesn't that look great? That is really cool. Anyways, anyways, with that done, we are going to go talk to Nadia. Is that her name? Nadia? We're working through our missions. We're going to do a light in the darkness, which I believe is in Jemison. And I'm trying to find my phone. There it is. Somehow managed to put my hands everywhere except where I was trying to put my hands. Right. <clears throat> By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. I have to hear those words one more goddamn time. <laughs> be careful if you run into those equipment. Obviously, we need to go back and do lots more in Neon. We haven't explored Ryushin Tower. We didn't go to that nightclub either at all, so... What is this? This... The... Oh, wet... It's called Whetstone. They'll have our table ready soon. Is it a restaurant? Hello. Welcome to what if you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. But of course. Huh. The deep. Oh. Grilled pieces of alien salmon served alongside mixed vegetables and mashed potato. Not sure how we feel about max mashed potato and salmon. Really? I mean, no reason it shouldn't work, but typically you'd have a new potato, right? Anyways, yet another store <laughs> that I've never seen before. <laughs> We're 60 hours into the game, and I'm finding new locations in the starting city. That's um, that's pretty wild. Anyways, SSNN, the Settled Systems News Network. I say we've had a mission here for ages. Let's go check it out. It. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Uh, maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all We're I'm close to the action here. In you are the best! position on the big stories. I from the SSNN. David. It's going to happen. David's amazing, and I hear he's single. Creepy. Okay, let's chat. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. <laughs> Once again, my eyes are closed for some bizarre reason. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Baron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. I see. Your intern asked me to do an interview for you. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the... Frontier? Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. 
No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Yeah, that's how old this is. Oh, God. We've got news about Ron Hope's death, about the terror morphs, about the Galbank robbery, about... <laughs> There's quite a lot going on. All right, let's work through it. I was at the terror morph attack on New Atlantis. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. People need news, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. What was your role in that? I caused the terror morphs. <laughs> uh, I took every UC security and managed to just put them down. Sounds like maybe you're being modest. Security isn't exactly trained for that scenario. But all right. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Spooky. Spooky. That makes what you did even more, well, amazing. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck, the whole UC, owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. She's been nice to me, and it's throwing me for a loop. And because I, I get the feeling this is a rag newspaper, you know, that it's gonna, it's all sensationalist pieces. I've got a fear that I'm gonna, like, be nice, and we'll get, like, a normal story, inverted commas, and then it'll be like. Terramorph menace, and they'll blame me for causing the attack or something like that. The Terramorph management division has been created to make sure it never happens again. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around, mouthful. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. Hey, oh, we use oh. the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. Constellation didn't do a goddamn thing, <laughs> it was all me. <laughs> If you have a news story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Maybe we get 1500 at a time, right? Galbank robbery. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? There was. I'd say I'm surprised, but this is my total lack of surprise face. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? They're all dead. Uh, I negotiated with the gang and taught them down. You did what? I mean, you're well spoken, but a hostage negotiator? I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. These things are often messy. Any customers or Gal Bank staff get hurt? I was thinking no one got hurt, did they? No casualties, not in injuries. That's really good news. Usually, well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. They're good eggs. I, 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 like, one day I'll do like a, just a dickhead playthrough. <laughs> we'll do that and we'll just steal and da da. But no. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview, and take this. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want those things to happen. You have another story for me? Uh, Argos Mining Facility. So this is where we first got this quest from, right at the start of the game. Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. Well. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Uh, 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 we were mining beryllium mines from, uh, yeah. Bad blood between the fabled constellation and the Crimson Fleet? Has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Well, how did you come up with the name of story? <laughs> uh, I was one of the miners. No, I worked for Argos now with Constellation. Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? You can tell this is meant to be How the first one that you're meant to talk about. Uh, the mining crew banded together and fought them off with mining blazers. We had helped Barrett, a member of Constellation, this robot Basco. How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. 
and take this to cover any incidentals or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. I mean, we're getting 6,000 credits for doing this. Paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. I have an inside story about the death of one hope. What a sordid mess. You've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. <sighs> so there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Basically. Good to know. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, the Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? Who, who is your source? <laughs> uh, you wanted to cover the whole thing. I can't let that stand. Mm, I don't love any of these. And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? No. Well. Uh, as a ranger worrying about one hopes and places in my job, just this is. And you do your job well. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. Do I want to hear about and, this? <laughs> uh, maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. Find new stories for SS back. and N. Here to report anything else? Okay, so you're working on anything right now? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. It'd probably be all for it if David asked. I will go. Would you really? I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. I am very talented. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing and how things are in the well. Really can't thank you enough. She seems okay so far. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to obviously have to keep an eye out for how those stories that I gave her are spun. But if she reports, you know, straight laced and truthful, then I, I think I can I can trust her. Interesting. Diagnostic files for SSNN. Why would I have access to that? Interesting. Also, is this, does, does this building have a door anywhere, or is it just a big ass lobby? Let's talk to Baron. To stay. It's important that the, if you ever find yourself with a hot lead, we will do our best to protect your anonymity. Huh. We're close to the action. All right, buddy. Okay, well that is one mission done. We gained a mission from it, so it's not really working on the plan, which was to knock down my list a little bit. But hey ho, let's do something else. Uh. We have quite a lot to do. Where's this? The clinic. Sure. We have quite a lot to do in Neon. Maybe we'll go back to Neon. Oh, I need to change my weapons as well on this ship, because I just... I don't like the ballistic weapon. It's so slow. It doesn't feel very impactful for the, the speed. Missiles are strong, but you only get two of them per thing. I don't know. It's kind of into all my weapons, and now I'm a bit like, well, I think I've actually made the ship worse <laughs> by upgrading the weapons. I'll do a little research. Sure, we'll find something good. Like it, love. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh, why am I so tired? I have no idea. Hello. So, hello, Vasco. Why am I here, by the way? Mm. 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 
It's Abby. No, Abby's not the last we talked to last time, is she? Are you? I couldn't tell you the last time I wasn't breathing recycled air. Joseph Manning sent me to pick up medical supplies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. Thanks. Of course. The people of Neon aren't going to heal themselves. You'll find the supplies on your ship. Hurry along before anyone suspects anything. Okie dokie. Let's go do some Neon stuff. Maybe we'll go do Bayusian, because... Why not, basically? We also need to buy some Uter Eater Eater Beam. And we need to buy some lube. <laughs> Which, I've got this little notepad file, it just says free lube on it. I was like, if someone walks in and sees this, this is a very weird shopping list I've got going on here. Lube and Eater Beam. That's the only two things a man needs in his life, you know? Yeah, we've got plenty to do here. Absolutely loads. N not to mention, never mind you, 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 Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Saving the day. That's the emergency. What can Reliant Medical do for you? Will you take the flyer? I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. I think that's four out of five done. One to go. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. There we go. Great. Thank you for all of your help. You really came through for me here. Things could have been bad if you hadn't come along. Here, take this. You've earned it. Cheers, buddy. Only a little baby mission, that one. It feels more like an activity than a mission, actually. Uh, right. Am I gonna join? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go join this gang. Let's go join the gang. If they ask me to do anything mean, I won't do the mean thing. Okay. But we're gonna join the gang. Thanks, cool. <laughs> Get lost. I have a job to do. To website. I'm back to Madame Sauvage's scene of my greatest crimes. Unfortunately, the ones I got caught for. Here, lots of clicking. Game. Okay. It's fine. It's a bad place for tourists these days. <clears throat> We're not that close to leveling. Oh, we are quite close. What are we leveling up next? I had a plan, didn't I? I don't remember what it is. Oh, spacesuit design. Madame, salvages, please, please, please. All right, let's go join the gang. Astro Lounge, Euphorica. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> How do I? The strikers are upstairs, so we better be on our best behavior. <laughs> but how do I get to the strikers? Is there another way around? The door has been locked behind me. Is there someone else I can talk to? Can I get you something? I hope you aren't here to cause any trouble. No. Au revoir. Au revoir. Sophia? Add a second to chat? I'm... No. Damn. Yep. Grace? You're not going to get me upstairs, are you? You're nothing. How the hell do I get back in? You look like a strip. Hello? Oh, no, you're the annoying person. Um... Okay. Hello. You good? I'm confused.com is what I am. How the heck and heck do I get back inside? You don't have places like this in Aquila, that's for sure. It's locked, man. What am I meant to do? <laughs> Just gonna check the mission board. Um. 
I'm not crazy. That is that's how I got up last time, I'm pretty sure. Okay. You try a velocity yet? It'll change your life. Huh. <laughs> She's she proper doesn't trust me, does she? Okay, I think that's I think that's probably bugged. But um we'll have to come back for that one then. Uh Frank Rennick at Neon Tactical asked me to find a gang member named Warlord. Yes, I remember this. The mood. And I will Google this in the meantime and figure out if anyone's figured out how to uh, get around that. Sauvages. Never did go to the Astral Lounge. Or by Yuzhin Tower. Um, right, so what, how would you describe this? Um, ne mad, yeah. Madame Sauvage's door locked. Reddit. If you speak with Andrea. <laughs> oh, I need the manipulate ability. Weird. Ah, oh, we're not getting in there anytime soon. I don't like manipulate abilities. It's just I, I just have a thing against. I don't know why. But um, social abilities and stuff like that just eh, eh, doesn't do much for me, sexually, or metaphorically, metaphysically. Okay, we've never, whoa, 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 we've not been here before. Fresh, warm food, open, nice. Mixed up with the gangs. It's locked. Seafood. Can you believe Xenofresh charges? Yummy. Licensing fee to fish near neon. Elevator, lovely. This is such a vibe, though, this area. So, Euphorica, this is the other club, right? So what do you say? Check it out. Get my unts on. I pass okay, the to their boss. let's settle this you once and for all. Hey Velocity yeah. or here for a drink? A chimera, no kidding, perhaps? A chimera, all day. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know. Chimera is nice, but Velocity, that... You like art? See, you just proved my point. Down your third sure. velocity. You should see the tag job on the robot at the end. My best down. work. Fucking cloud nine. I don't know about you, but. Uh, Frank Reddick wants retribution for what you did. Yeah, I guess you're right. That cyclops should be Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that? I dressed up a toy anyway. real nice, gave him a total well, makeover. Face it, some He's lucky that's all I did gifted. after what that thing did to my crew. What did it do? The freak didn't tell you? I figured he'd be gloating about it. Man's got nothing else. We tried to rob his store and reload our crew. That's when his little toy unloaded on us. Lots of good disciples in that group. If anything, that freak should be paying me. But you tried to rob him? Yeah, I do. And I'll make art out of your guts if you step out of line. Persuade. And what makes you think I will? Because it's the only option I have other than shooting you. Oh my god, this is never going to work. My crew. Exactly why I won't stop. Not until that Cyclops' blood is on the floor. I'm gonna auto persuade. Well, we're gonna try a four. Except that's why we hit up his store in the first place. We need more firepower. Auto persuade. You some kind of military big shot? I should have figured the old man had friends. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, oh no! I thought it did the whole thing. Man, if it gets you out of my face, I just might. Oh no! Okay, it's all on this one. It's all on this one. No! So I suggest you tell that one-eyed freak to go cry somewhere else. Yeah, sure you. See you soon. Um. I'm an artist. Get lost. 
Oh, oh, oh. Wait, let me, let me. Oh, oh. I didn't. Oh. Oh, that just tells me what they're gonna answer. Euphoric is home for people like us. Mm. And by people like us, I mean killers, thugs, and thieves. Now, I haven't killed anyone in a while, but that just means I'm due. Yeah? Tell that Cyclops to back off or I'll scoop his other eye out. Fine by me, punk. Let's paint the walls with your blood. I didn't, I didn't see a choice. You're mine. This isn't worth it. <laughs> Sorry. I love the vibe of this place. <laughs> I also love the vibe of this place. Didn't really if want to start a fight, but um. We respectfully ask you do so in the members' lounge. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm obviously, I need to be very respectful of <laughs> of this place because um, it's a high class establishment. I just shot someone in the face. Micah, Mika. Welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. Oh, uh, tell me more. Tell Customers me more. Like, choose did he our have a car? lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey, as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music, no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. On the contrary, our members' lounge has been specifically tailored for that very task. It's a completely secure and monitored environment where you can enjoy your aurora without the fear of being disturbed, a rare commodity in Neon. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. She's oh five thousand, Jesus Christ. She says it's a rare experience, but I have a little shipping container that I live in, so you know, I'm kinda used to high luxury already. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather unique items. All right, take my money. A wise choice. Here's your access key. We're not doing drugs. Please let us know if but anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. I if do want to have a little poke around. Else, please. Don't hesitate to ask. You know? Eh? No, thank you. I don't think so. Enjoy your drinks. Micah knows how to make a drink. Okay. We're moving up in society right now. <clears throat> sure. Thanks, Micah. Gangs think they run this city. But I don't see people building statues of them. You're bothering me. Oh, sorry. I am. <laughs> and you should stop. <laughs> Why are you so short, people? It's one of my rules, and it served me well. Besides, you don't want to talk to me. Fact is, I'm not a good man. Best keep your distance. Not a good man? No, I'm not. I remember you. You were muscle for the syndicate back in the day. So I did. But that was before the war. So yeah, I've killed people. Some of them even deserved it. Not all, but some. And every so often, I get strangers coming up to me wanting payback. But I'm still here. I was young. Stupid, really. Thought I could win the war all by myself, so... I joined the Freestar Militia. Ended up killing more people in a week than all my years here. And if you see enough shit, you lose your edge. Now, I just drink. Very forthcoming, aren't you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 
Okay, so is this the lounge? I guess so. Anything I can get to help you relax? What do you sell? Hello there. Hello. On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our members' lounge. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need for my private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? Excellent. We have plenty for purchase. We also offer an assortment of beverages, so feel free to browse our selection anytime. But of course, take your time. Aurora. Contraband, as you can see. Slows time by 40% for 10 seconds. A powerful, addictive hallucinogen derived from Voli Alpha's local Shazambas population, illegal only in the city of Neon. And then loads of this. Nothing interesting. Chimera. That's quite nice, actually. Um, suppresses addiction symptoms. I think we're going to try it at some point. It's just out of sheer uh, curiosity to see what happens if we do it, but it's not on the docket right now. Let's go return to Rennick. What's up? I didn't really want to kill the warlord guy. But I like in my head originally he was just a, a tagger, you know, he's just a street artist. But um Yeah, I don't think that was the but case really. So, eh, it is what it is. How the heck and heck do I get out of here? Definitely wasn't this way before. Hum There we go. We also need to buy some lube. And <laughs> some to be um maybe we'll hit up uh, Dietrich. Whilst we're here. Mining. Oh, that's all the Eater. Eater beam. I love you, Neon. You just talking? Yeah, let me know if you need any assist. Certainly, my. He's the one who's not getting any business, and yet I can't give him a bloody thing. Uh, resources. Eater beam. There we go. He's got 16 of them. <sighs> <laughs> I hope you have a Guess how many day, I needed. <laughs> yeah. 17. <laughs> oh, some things in life just feel inevitable. No, that, that was very much one of them. I think we've got to do right after this. Sticks. Well, that's not going to bother you anymore. Good work. I hope you made him squirm. Oh, he's dead. He's pretty civil eyed. <sighs> Fine by me. That delinquent little punk deserves it. I don't feel good about that. Thanks. Styx is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. Styx, how's this month looking? I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I'm asking for the sales report. Understood. Current data shows revenue has decreased 13.7%. Yeah, so business sucks. Tell me something I don't know, Styx. Affirmative. <laughs> the word myrtle refers to a blob of toothpaste placed on the bristles of the toothbrush. No, Styx, I didn't mean to literally tell me. Ah, forget it. Good talk. Unlawful behavior will be met with lethal force. I just got you cleaned up, buddy. A nerdle. I had never heard of a nerdle before. That is that is new for me. I'm very excited about the nerdle. I'm going to use that in my day-to-day -day life now. Every time I brush my teeth, I'm going to think. A little nerdle on there. A little nerdle. I'll buy some lube. It's a funny word, lube. I have plenty of supply. Sure. I have... <laughs> His voice gets me. Lubricant. Lubricant. It doesn't sell lubricant. What a pain. We sell polymer. I always need more polymer. An adhesive. God, this guy sells nothing. Does he sell Ultra Boom? This guy sells nothing! I need to find one more storekeep. Literally one more storekeep for this mission. Oh, I wonder if this um, hotel lass will talk to me now. Because technically, I've rented a room for an entire week, right? <laughs> I really have choice accommodations and reasonable. Oh, 
thanks. Hey. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. Did it, gang? Wanna let me in? Maybe after you've rent. Sorry. I rented a room for so long. Enjoy your visit <laughs> to Neon. Uh, okay, cool. But well, at least we did that mission. I can't meet Briggs ever again. Oh, this one. Go to, to Saburo down here somewhat. It's funny, I'm aware, like, in my heart of hearts, I've got tons of content left in this game, but I'm also not sure... <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like I've got that much to do. I'm hoping that when I do the main quest, it's going to push me towards more stuff as well in the meantime. Hello, my friend. Oh, of course we can't give him a flyer. <laughs> he gave us the flyers. Here you go. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. I hope so. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Nothing would make me. What does he sell? I see resources. Ah! Why does everyone hate me? Thank you again for helping me out. With the yeah, no worries. God, stop ringing me. I've got a friend who's just desperate for me to. I don't, she, she's just all over me about coming out tonight. It's 9 p.m. I wouldn't be there till half 10 at this bloody rate. It, yes, it's the same friend I was talking about in the other video. <laughs> Whenever that was. Um, you able to get Frankie to tell me where Headlock is? Okay, that's here as well, isn't it? Is it here? Yeah. I'm trying to remember who Headlock is. Wait, no. Headlock. That was a... I mean, maybe they're here, but that, we, we learned about Headlock over at... Um, over at the Red Mile, didn't we? Wasn't that... Oh, I don't remember. No, that's not Frankie. Either way, this appears to be the right place. Frankie... I do not remember who Frankie was. But I remember them mentioning Warehouse 04. We are we gonna be okay? I don't I don't we don't have to fight. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Who the hell are you? <laughs> and who do we have here? You here for business or to get your head caved in? If people were just less aggressive with me, I would kill so many less people. I need to leave the Emporium alone. Is that so? Yeah. I'm not just some low life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. That doesn't worry me. Well, it should. All I need to do is say the word, and my Sioka buddies will pay you a very unpleasant visit. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Tevin is the guy who runs the luxury store, I think? The wise thing to do. Go on and like. Okay, give it a go. Plus three. That would be scary if security weren't corrupt as all hell. They're dirtier than I am. They won't get involved. That's a fair point. Eh. I don't think things would be that extreme, but I guess I get your point. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. Just a plus one, baby. Just a plus one. This behavior doesn't benefit you. It's making your life more difficult. Sure. Oh, yes, you did it. There may be some better uses of my time. It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine. We won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Hold on. Whatever. Next time, I might not be so nice. Can I let you into a secret? I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I was no hoping I would fail and they'd all try to kill me and I could get some experience. But no, now I've got to be good and leave. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Not impressed. I'm gonna get my lube and my rock, <laughs> and then I'm done. I'm a little annoyed that 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 quest is bugged. I've definitely seen people talking about it on Reddit before that uh, the, uh, the gang quest is broken. That if you don't take it initially, if you don't join straight away, you can't get back in there. I'm sure it'll get fixed. Not a big deal. It's kind of weird talking about this in a way, because by the time you folks see this video, for all I know, it's been fixed. You know, I could be talking about things that were fixed weeks ago. Because I'm miles ahead. 
This is the, the posh store, right? All the decorations and stuff. Yeah. Take it easy. Headlock will destroy our shops if he isn't taken care of. Take care of, of Headlock. Oh my. You know, that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. I'm not one to get involved with a rabble. So I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. No worries, buddy. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. May. Uh, May. I am a luxury item. Okay, I tell you what, we've, we've cleaned up this, uh, this pretty bloody well today. I might just keep going. Uh, that one is just going to happen over time, I guess. Can't do much about that right now. Uh, special sauce. Let's go do that. <clears throat> oh, this is Paradiso. Okay, well, we've got two missions of Paradiso, so that makes sense. Just bam, bam, bam. And then eventually I'll work for the activities as well. But that sounds like a future me problem. Actually, actually, <laughs> what we're going to do instead is this. I know I said we were done with this, but we're obviously not done with this. We're going to go find a boiled sea in Alpha Turner. Boiled sea. That sounds pretty cool to me. Boiled sea. Sounds pretty cool to me. Brap, brap. Nice jump. Thank You're you. <laughs> pirates? No pirates. Sad. God, I need to change the back of this ship, though. The front, I don't see the front very much, but I stare at its ass all the time. <laughs> and it's horrific. Right. Any potential? Oh, we've got... Yeah, okay, I mean, there's, there's water. Sure. Now, it did say boiled. So why am I landing on a frozen planet? <laughs> Logically. Everything checks out. Maybe there's a... Oh, wait. Whoa. I can't see a bloody thing here. Maybe there's a planet in the area. And this would make a lot more sense. Maybe there's a planet in the area. Wait, first of all, let me check the quest. Does it say anything? Looking for an experience in blah, blah, blah. No. Okay, but boiled seas. So, are there any planets that are hot? Uh, temperature cold. Temperature scorched. See, that that seems more likely, doesn't it? So, let's hop over there. You know, the sea has been boiled. Hello? Oh, hey. But my weapons are so bad. <laughs> uh. I really dislike all my weapons. <laughs> none of them feel good. Like, literally none of them. I'm just getting shredded. And all my weapons aren't charging, man. It's a disaster. My ship sucks. <laughs> I spent a fortune on all these weapons and they're terrible. I, I don't know if I'm making a massive mistake, but they all feel so slow to fire and so slow to recharge. They just, they feel awful, like, unironically. They really do. I tell you what, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do to finish things off. We're gonna, we're gonna fix these bloody weapons. Um, where do I want to go to do this? Probably just back to Jemison, right? Uh, which is up here? Yeah. Back to Jemison. Back to our base. <sighs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little cheeky Google to see if anyone's got recommendations. They're just they're bad. And like every time I get in a space fight, I just get annihilated because I feel like I can't shoot. It feels so weak. Um. Base, ship, best weapons, so good. Uh, again, I'm just gonna show, I, I, I always do that, I always just trust Reddit for some reason. Other than like, random websites. Yeah, um, <laughs> why are all the best ship weapons the cheap class A ones? <laughs> oh, I'm not seeing the good ones yet, I'm seeing the worst C class gear. 
level 40 and level 6. Ah. Interesting. Maybe we should be bearing, Maybe I shouldn't be buying C class stuff there. Maybe I should be buying like B class, potentially. Let's go have a little peek. There's a good chance that I've put a lot of really bad things on my ship. <laughs> Accidentally. Oh, I've got a lot of gear, actually. But it's it's feel they feel they do feel weak. I'm I'm not crazy. They do feel bad. So let's see what we can do here. So that is our well. First of all, yeah, okay, pulse laser, sure, pulse laser. Right, that is class C. Weapons. Let's see what we can do. So I'm looking for shield damage. That does 21 at a fire rate of six. Is that fast? I don't know. I, I still don't know. Is six fast or slow? Is it six per second? Is it six seconds per shot? Oh, well, where's my... Uh... That one feels really slow. The 1.5. The, ga the gauss... The gauss... The ga gauss? Gauss? Whatever you want to call it. Um... Right, so what's this do? This is 21 shield damage. Fire rate six. Fire rate six is good though. Why? Why are they bad? What am I missing? Twenty-one at six is better than all these, isn't it? I think these are the only thing that I didn't mind. The missiles I don't like because they only have... Um, there's only two of them. Then you're done. Hmm. Autocannon. I think I need to... I think I need some recommendations from the internet. Um, hmm. Vanguard Hellfire Auto Cannons. I've seen someone suggest. This. Oh, they're so cheap, though. They can't be good. They're rubbish. <laughs> um, what am I missing? Why is this all bad? I, there's, there's something. Like, stat-wise, they all seem exceptional. They really do. This thing I hated. 1.5 is quite slow. Is it? Um, that's 5. Hull damage 20. Hold up. Mm. Alright, what's the most expensive thing? <laughs> that's, again, that's an auto. I don't know if I want an auto. There's a lot here we can't get yet. I really don't know how to do this. I don't I don't know what it is I'm missing. <sighs> I just thought, oh, I'll just get the most expensive ones. And stat wise, they seem the best. I don't know why I'm I don't know. Fire rate 1.5. But loads of damage. And they're super expensive. <laughs> Is that not what makes them good? Fire rate six. I guess they're about the same. But they're auto. I think this is something I maybe have to do more research on before I do anything. Maybe I just need to get used to them. Maybe that's maybe that's all it is. Maybe I'm just terrible. <laughs> maybe it is just a case of practice. But I don't know. It feels it feels weird. I just thought I'll just buy the most expensive. That'll be the right thing to do. All right. Anyways, I've heard tales of Paradiso a couple of times. Let's go land and check it out. What a view. 
I know we've got at least two missions here. Landing struts primed. Retro's firing. Love that shot. They've done it purposely just, just to show off your starship design, which is why you have to have a good looking one. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's got like a 60s US kind of vibe. Paradiso. God, I aim so close to leveling up. Okay. This is cool. Tell you what, perfect as well. I can finally get a photo. <laughs> A filter, maybe. I think grunge is uh, fairly consistently my favourite of the bunch. Which one do we like more? It's important. God. Um. Cool. It's for the thumbnail. So at least I've been somewhere new and there's something to discuss in the title. I can just call the title Paradiso. We're done. Easy peasy. Wait, can I go in this building? This is this is a beautiful looking area. Really like the vibe. Can I go inside here? Hope you're staying safe out there. Thank you, Paradiso Security. I sure am. We try to stay out of our guests' way, but we're always here if needed. Is it a hotel then? It does have that vibe? Oh, hello. Welcome to Paradiso, Jiro Sukiyama. He's the guy we had to talk to for the other mission. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else that can help you? I can't remember what it was, but <laughs> I'm here about the distress call you sent. Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Sure. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. That's interesting. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Hmm, interesting. It's quite an exciting uh, prospect. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Security in the settled systems. Yeah, you say that, but I'm about to steal everything you own. Thank you very much. It's a hotel. They don't need it. Why does a hotel, hotel need this many weapons? They don't. Guns, guns are the high value item in this game. Why am I hidden? Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Let's have a little poke here. Okay, that fits nicely. Does that two then fit over there? Went the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. How does that fit? Hmm, this one's going to be a little tricky. Um, hmm, I 
don't think it's that one. Could go there. No. Slight concerns I've messed this up. <laughs> um, where's this one fit again? There. Surely that one goes with that one, right? I think I think it probably does. Yeah, it does. Just had to. Well, that's sad. Try again. <laughs> you know, maybe there's just no stolen items at the end of the day. That goes there, and then that one goes there. Okay. I think that one works well to go there. No, I don't like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has to be a four and a three. So it has to be the four, because this is there's only one four. Yep, yeah, sweet. If in doubt, do a count. Makes it makes all the difference. Eh? God damn it. <laughs> well, you know what? At least if I ever get arrested, <laughs> I'll be able to get my stuff back nice and easily. That, that's, that makes it worth it, right? I say yes. Uh, okay, let's go pick up the chunks special sauce. And then uh, go talk to this ship. Which maybe maybe I want to sort out my ship weapons beforehand. Although I suspect we are just boarding anyway, so. Paradiso. Oh, there's an enhanced as well. Any missions? Can I tell you something? I wasn't always this perfect. Enhance can help you too. Hey, how you doing? Why, hello, darling. <laughs> Welcome to Enhance Paradiso. You too can use our services to help you feel as good about your appearance as I do mine. We can make you thinner, larger, change your hair, your face, or even your sex. Anything you want. Or perhaps I can interest you in the Paradiso Getaway Bundle promotion. This is a one-time offer for new Paradiso customers. Once you decline, it's gone. I'll pass. Certainly. Service at our regular price will always be available to you if you change your mind. What can I do for you now? Wait, wasn't it 7,500? Oh, <laughs> you're too pure for this world. Yes, especially when on vacation. Surrounded by sexy people. Oh, don't look so surprised, darling. Have you ever seen someone come back from a break looking more refreshed and vibrant than ever? It's not uncommon for people to get little touch-ups while away. Better that than risk the embarrassment of bumping into friends at their local enhance. Yes, goodbye, darling. I'm gonna compliment her. Be happy with who you are. That's very kind of you to say. I have put many credits into my appearance, and I am proud of how I look. There is no shame in paying to look good. I regularly use enhanced services. A little tweak here or there every so often keeps things interesting. And the fact that it is hard to notice proves the quality of our work. Take care of your beautiful self. <laughs> I mean, it oh, hello. I'm not much of a beach person, but everyone talks about this place, so I had to see for myself. It makes sense. You know, you come on holiday surrounded by people in bikinis and shorts and everyone's all like sunny and fit and healthy and stuff like that. When are you going to feel worst about yourself right then? If I could just stay here forever, I would. That's weird behavior. Oh, you mean paradise are not enhanced. Okay, that makes more sense. This looks like chunks. Requires some special sauce. We have all sorts of chunks. Uh, meat chunks, potato chunks, uh, dessert chunks, even beverage chunks. Beverage chunks? Hello, hello. Welcome to <laughs> I love Chunks. Her. If this is your first time dining with us at this location, you'll find our cuisine and service is a step above what you're used to. Please, don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do to make your chunks experience as enjoyable as possible. It's a very strange sentence. Here to pick up some special sauce for the chunks in New Homestead. Huh. I thought it was a joke at first, but yet, here you are. Let me get that for you. Hey, and let me know if I can get you some chunks for the road. I love her. Cheers, my dears. Paradiso. It's bigger than I thought. 
kind of, kind of, oh, kind of just keeps going on a bit, doesn't it? Please let the concierge know if you need anything. There's a billion. This guy with this haircut is all over this game. I've seen this exact lad about 500 times at this point. Hello. Let's see what the rooms are like. This is nice. I wonder if we can get a permanent room here. It reminds me of like um. Oh, this is even better than in the brochure. It's like a James Bond kind of thing. The glass and the beach. The security guards nearby. Okay. You'd think we'd be a prime target Yoga? for pirates. But they know to stay away from the most parties. How's it going? Down down there? There? Hope you've been having fun here. Almost, hey there. Right? I'm Harish. If you're looking for stuff to do at the resort or have any other questions, especially about our amazing beach, I'm your guy. His job is beach. <laughs> His job is beach. <laughs> Amazing. It's a big planet with a ton of water. So I'd be lying if I told you I knew everything was perfectly safe. But I do know we've never, and I mean never, had an incident with local wildlife that left anyone significantly injured. Significantly being the keyword. Everything we've run into is so docile and beautiful in their own ways. It's almost like nature knew what it was doing and created the best possible world for Paradiso. I'm surprised you even have to ask. <laughs> Look around. I mean, what's not to love? But honestly, I'm kind of a beach nut. I could spend hours with my toes in the sand. Hey, maybe that's where I should run the guided meditation I'm supposed to run. Oh, me? Limited at the moment. I'm between gigs, actually. I was hired recently to run wind sailing, but that's been cancelled due to high winds. Whatever, man. Those winds are the best part. It wasn't even that bad. Too many guests just couldn't get the hang of it. Now, I've been assigned to lead the guided meditations, but they haven't started up yet, and, well, we'll just see how that goes. I've never done it before. See you. Don't be afraid to kick back and relax a little. Okay, Paradiso. So, well, um, next video we will continue to explore Paradiso a little bit. We've not actually gone in the hotel itself, it's over there. But we'll head down the beach, chat to some people, have a little poke around, see what the happy haps are around here, head in, check out the hotel, and then we shall head to space and check out what's going on with this spaceship in orbit, which sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna yawn. <sighs> I'm gonna do some research as to what weapons I should be putting on my ship that feel better than the nonsense I'm having to run right now. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.